Okay. Hey guys, it's the Chateau Chat and you, Bell Mastery. Hello? Wait, I introduced you. <laughs> Is that how this works? Yes. <laughs> this man just hops on, takes over my intro, my channel. Hello? Yes. Sub to you, Bell Mastery. Like this video. <laughs> Anyways, so he starts off. Venom's playing Perform Age Pendulum, and I find that interesting. I wanted to. He didn't want to record a Perform Age Pendulum, but. I really wanted to see how, the, not perform age pendulum, perform age magician, and it's interesting. It's an interesting deck. That's it. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. So we have Venom here at twelve fifty, and we have Light Yagami, that Death Note reference is too strong, with twelve twenty six. So yes, people, this is the Chateau Chat, another uh, new tag partner, and also uh, welcome to be on uh, Vinyl Island stream if. He wants to be, and as well as uh, being invited to season two whoa, of the league. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He just pendulum summoned five, uh, all four. All in. Oh all my god! In. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know Noble Dragon, Noble Dragon actually goes to the bottom of the deck when it tunes because it's really. I don't wait. It doesn't go to the bottom if it goes for an odd eyes, and I don't. I don't honestly know, but I don't think it does. But I don't care. I mean, it's Venom. It seems like he's been playing this deck longer than we've yeah, been playing Yeah, he's definitely been together. playing this. I, I played this deck for about a week or two, and I just wanted to see what it did. But I think yeah. Venom has, like, the actual this down. And he's going for an overlay. Absolutely. The thing I don't like about Pendulums if, is it feels like... Okay, so he's going off right now. Boom, boom, boom. But, like, what is his follow-up? Like, before, like, a long time ago, a follow-up wouldn't have mattered. But, like, now, you need a follow-up. Mm -hmm. And, like, if he's overlaying and all this stuff, like, how I figured that out, like, and I started overlaying and stuff, I would just have run out of ammo. Either that or I'd have to play a really, really slow build to, like, fill my extra deck. Mm. Okay, well, so well. this is this is an interesting opening. Yeah, it's a very yeah. aggressive uh, opening. Really aggressive, like... What is he just get? Like, I would not be surprised. If I don't know why he opened so aggressive. I wouldn't have opened like that. I don't know what I would have done, honestly, but... At least Absinthe has, like, some kind of protection, right? Yeah, if it dies, it gets an Odd Eyes Vortex. But, like, only if it dies. It's not like if it gets um, Castelled, that will happen. Oh, wait, I gotta check that. I'm not sure. Yep. Um, Here we go. This is he's sent to the grave. Okay, yeah, so I'm right. So apparently, this Light Sworn deck is also very interesting. I think because no I just want to see if it's the one I'm thinking about. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. the Perform Age Light Sworn deck that people have been playing. It's it's held over first on rated. I should know because I'm like top 100 on rated. Damn, damn. So Venom predicted your butt completely. He's like, you know what? <laughs> Let's go. No, well. I, like Dweller seems know. really good. Like with uh, the Light Swords doing a lot of stuff. And, I mean, but uh, light swords aren't that common. I know we just saw two duels because we were recording one before Venom, just watching him, and now we're recording a new one. Uh, we didn't record the last one, but light swords aren't actually that common this high up. I'm surprised you faced two in a row. Really? I, I've been seeing a nice chunk of them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and like, but not like the top 100s. What's what's light Yagami? He's 1226. Um, but the thing about DN is people a lot of the time want to test decks that they can actually play, so. Yeah. I'm like 1,350 something, or like, actually no, what am I? I forget, I think I'm like 1,390, I'm really close to 1,400, but like, people usually want to play decks that they can actually play in real life. Mm -hmm. Like, unless you have, and and it's never like one Minerva, like, oh, you you know, you got lucky, and or you did well at one YCS, so you got a Minerva, so you can make that, no, it's always like two or three, it's like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You're going to play, I mean, like, your $10,000 deck. <laughs> I do legit know people with two Minervas. And they want them? Or uh, they bought like, them? People like Hoban, like, Hoban's crew, like, um, Hoban, Desmond, Leverett's, um, I forget what some of the other people's names are, but they, like, collectively all won YCSs individually. Well, not every single one, but Hoban won some, and I forget, Chris LeBlanc, I think his name is, and, like, there was a Minerva tournament, I think, at Super Games once, but, like, there are ways to get it. It's just so hard to get it. Uh-huh. Noah Green, I think, has one because he topped um, Worlds. I'm not sure if they gave it out, Worlds or a Giant Hand. Or Nats. Nats, not Worlds. 
Okay, so that's he's going for Minerva, but like, there's nothing he can mill because Dweller. Yep. Oh, but he can draw. Yeah, he can draw. Which is two, three. Oh, he he's playing one. Chaos Sorcerer. That's very interesting. What darks do they run? Is it mostly just light? Well, I guess there's the Xyz. Oh wait, there's like no dark Xyz. What's he doing? That's not how Chaos Sorcerer is summoned. <laughs> What? What are you doing? Look what at is that going on? Thing. What are you doing? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, He's so you got to banish a Chaos Sorcerer and banish Raiden to summon Chaos Sorcerer. Okay. This is so, a very interesting play. This is how you actually go for rank sixes in this deck. You banish your Chaos Sorcerer, resummon it back. Yeah, like no. Like, that was, I that was really think weird. He tried to cheat him and thought he was low rating now. <laughs> So, I guess... I mean, you did it really weird. I guess you're going to go ahead and ban... Yeah, like that. Why, why does he want to banish the specific one? Either way, you're banishing a Chaos Sorcerer. I don't oh, know. It's just weird how he did going it. On because he definitely... He milled the Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah, what's... There's no difference. Like, you don't even have any back row, so I don't know why he's complaining. Yeah, I mean, the end result's the same. It's just the way that he did it was... Right weird. now, I'm not even sure if... If he can... Venom can really win. So that might be why he's doing this. Because, like, Venom... He doesn't have his pendulum scale set up. Nope. He doesn't have his extra deck set up. Nope. So he's probably going to get wrecked right now. And, and this is why it helps going a lot of people turn. this deck is kind of tier 2-ish. Like, people always say this deck is tier 1, but we don't we don't have Infinity. We don't have a lot of the stuff the OCG had. Um, like, the Perform Age Sorcerer. And unless you open, like, Draco Slayer, which even then you can't special summon the Odd Eyes... I think that magicians are honestly the best. Um, apparently, there have been ruling dispute over banishing abs Odd Eyes Absolute. But I think the best way to run magicians really is to run them as their own engine. Yeah, they're definitely an engine. <laughs> well, not as their own engine, as an engine within another deck. Like, Mag Spectre magicians are really, really good. Yeah. 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 What it, why um, are they fighting? I don't know that. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message Venom and tell him it doesn't matter. Exactly. exactly. One Sork was a grave, one Sork was a hand. You banish a Sork in the ride and summon the one from hand. It doesn't like, matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got it. And now we move on. Yeah, now we move on and uh, proceed to uh, game no two. There's no admin, so they better not call an admin. I did not think that this can, he can come back from this. Like, uh, Yeah, he can. Maybe there, top... Definitely can. Maybe top deck on ice fusion? That'd be pretty good. If Yeah, there's there's a ton of ways honestly he can get to get over this, but like Will they happen? Like one way would be if Light Yagami just tried to OTK and then failed through pendulums and then he drew wavering eyes and then actually no, there's not really much you could search from there. He's lost this game. Because... <laughs> Be top he loses both his monsters, and unless he can pendulum summon. Okay, well, if Mathematician dumps Shadow Dragon, this is over. Why would Mathematician... Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, just completely break his scales. Just so he doesn't That's one of the things that like really kills Magicians as a solid deck, because even though I think they're decent, they they don't have a single card scale. Um, that spell card. No, but that discards one. Oh, so, okay. like, unless they open that up first turn. Yeah, I mean, even drawing that next turn will Like, he can't, he can't really top deck into anything right now besides Odd Eyes Fusion. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, that, that uh, looks oh, like... Oh, wow. That yep, yep like that game. definitely looks like game. Get jumped by Chaos. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> BLS Unless chaos. Exiton happens to be unbanned within the next 10 seconds and he somehow magically draws the Dragon Pit. Like, wow, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Konami sometimes makes emergency ban lists. Chaos Arcer went up to 3? This list? Last list? I don't know, honestly. I can't remember. Wait, okay, he's he's a reviving back trick clown. Okay. All right, at least that blocks. <laughs> at least that blocks something. It doesn't matter, though. He, he doesn't have board presence. Yeah, he does not have board presence. He, he can't even, like, 
Soul Charge wouldn't save him. Nope. I mean, I guess it... No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Odd Eyes Fusion? No. He has BLS. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything right now. Okay, now to see why he's still in this game. Draw the Mirror Force. Okay. So it looks like he can attempt to come back. He can attempt, he can attempt it. It's not going to work, but. All right. Okay, so he's going to add back something with Oath for Dragon. Wisdom Eye. Okay. I'm not sure what Wisdom Eye is really going to do at all. Okay. Like, where are you going with this? Now what? Now what? <laughs> You are facing down a field of monsters. Yeah, there's, there's just, there's nothing. You said less extra time gets banned in the next, unbanned in the yeah. next couple of seconds. <laughs> extra time would be great right now. <laughs> yeah, that's why Exit Hunt got banned because it's actually really, really good. But people don't, people never gave it credit. Like I get saved so much by Exit Hunt just playing it right. Okay. I remember once at local, somebody was playing Shadows, and I was playing, like, Heroes, and, like, I opened crap, and then I just summoned... Oh, game's over. <laughs> yeah, um, I would say. What do you I have? I summoned Goblinburg, and then I turned it to defense. I special summoned, uh, Bubble Man, maybe? I don't know. And I went into Exiton versus, like, a field of, like, Gem Knight Fusion, um, some Perform Mages, some Shadow Construct, and, like, I destroyed his field. And then he went for it again, and then I was just, like, Exiton... <laughs> he had, like, the most... He was just so let down. He was beyond let down. Okay. Are they done siding? I, I cannot oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, though, that I activated that during the battle phase, not... Of, of his turn. That's what made it cool. But, I mean... Yeah, yeah it can save you. Yeah, Chaos Sorcerer is unlimited now. Thank you, 3DS, for being able to go on the internet. The side deck is, like, so basic right now, I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like you only just side for, like, Cosmo and, um, Pepe. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of, uh, versatility in the game right now. It's just a lot of the, just the same thing. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like. Like, people are always like, oh, there's Infernoids, oh, there's, there's Psyframe, oh, there's this, there's that. But, I mean, in reality, there's two decks in this game right now, being Pepe and Cosmo. Okay. And Light Swarns, if you can afford a Minerva, but nobody can. Yeah, no one can. <laughs> well, a few people can. But those people who would rather play a more consistent, higher-tier deck like Pepe. Wow. Uh, those are garbage mills. Don't ever mill like that again. <laughs> I forget. I think his name was Alexander Lysgeth. The top the recent YCS with them. I could be deck? wrong. He topped he topped the YCS with this deck. Oh wow. Yeah. But it was like it was some kind of YCS in I don't know where. It was it was South America. But well, you know, why jump to the hoops and try to pick up like even one Madeira fight more expensive than what, the entire freaking Cosmo deck? Well, part of it is the surprise factor. Like, on DN, there's no surprise factor. But in real life, who's going to side against this deck? Like, like I said, no if you got it, if you've got two or three Minervas just sitting around, then sure, go ahead and use it. But, you know, if you're like, oh, yeah, I want to... Actually, you know who did play this deck? deck? Corey McDuffie at the recent YCS. I forget which YCS. I remember him saying he played this deck. I'm not sure if he actually did. I don't... I don't like... I never ever, ever liked usable YCS price cards. I think they're so dumb. Because it just literally makes the strong stronger. It's always been I mean, like that. Here's the thing. Giant Hand, a lot of people thought would be really, really good. But honestly, outside of Necro's format, there was no time where it was, like, absolutely needed. Like, beyond needed to where it was needed needed. I mean, it's still just another card in your extra deck as a toolbox that you have that a majority of people don't have. It just gives you... it's gives you an advantage that other people don't have. It just makes the strong stronger. We have the same problem with Crush Card and Gold Sark. It's just like, you know, 
I win a, I win a YCS, I get a Minerva. So now I can make this powerful deck with the Minerva I don't know. to win another YCS that... to get another Minerva. And it just, it just kind of loops on itself. Like the stronger, the stronger I feel stronger. like if you take away the prize card, you got to somehow find some kind of interesting prize that's unique. I mean, I don't mind. The world's prize, I mean, you can't use those cards, but yeah, I mean, they're still but like, rare and expensive. But once you start getting usable, especially since you're like, hey, look, Minerva is an expensive ass prize card and the Volvo Chain Band. It's just like. But if we look at Big Vorzak, that's like that's like two hundred dollars. Like I could I could buy that and I wouldn't win anything, but I'd still have a Dig Vorzak. Yeah, but like I said it's just like who has the who has the money for this? Like Dig Vorzak can only be used in like frogs, so it's like, well, you kind of went to a YCS and you have this crappy card, so it's like there needs to be something at YCSs that's worth money that's unique. I mean, where do you draw the line? I, I don't know where you get, draw the line, and that's the hard part. That Nobody so knows. Good, but then you get cards that are just like, meh. Right but I now, honestly think that Minerva is kind of bad just because, like, it creates a unique deck right now that we're seeing. And I don't remember a prize card ever creating a new unique deck besides, like, I think, like, the Archlords, maybe? Oh no, she just she's just totally the reason why you should even attempt this deck. Like if Minerva didn't exist, you wouldn't even be touching this deck, but Minerva yeah. incentivizes you to do it. No, no, so. it's definitely good without Minerva, but it's like not as good. Yeah. yeah. It's like tier I don't think anybody would really mind if Chain wasn't banned, but since Chain is banned, you know, like rank three milling, you know, that's Dante, and then rank four, that's Minerva, so even if I still don't think Chain deserves the ban. I miss Chain so much. I miss Shock Map. Like, all the rank 4s that are banned should come back. Maybe not Shock Map. Yeah, I'm about to say, you want to take that back? Cause Shock but Exiton. <laughs> like, Shock Map would be terrible, especially with Pepe. Like, yeah, with oh Pepe out right now. But, like, <laughs> before Pepe, I felt that Shock Master was, like, great. He was. Perf same thing with the Dragon Rollers. I feel like. Why aren't they unlimited? Because Dark Matter. Well, actually, no. Why aren't they limited? Not. I, I never want the Dragon Rulers unlimited. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> but even with Dark... Actually, no. Yeah, we can't have Dark Matter in the format with them, oh. but like them ban Dark Matter. Yeah, like, it, that's, that's my only... They purposely I, released that card just to ban Dragon Rulers, and it was completely obvious. Yeah, they're like, hey, look at this. Like, wow, that's going to be broken with Dragon Rulers. Oh, you have to worry about them. We're going to handle them. Because <laughs> Dragon Rulers didn't do much. Even they tried one, to like... disguise it with, like, galaxy eyes in the name but like it's so obvious <laughs> it's just like hey you know i mean what we see we saw like maybe like uh blaster in infernoids okay. okay well he's going for a big play dude venom what's up with you just going in yeah <laughs> but i don't really have a problem right now actually no i do with that play because he has max c it's terrible to give light sworn cards because then you get JD'd. Wow, and you're actually oh my god, dude, just attack! Like, why do you keep overextending? Why do you keep on taking this maxi challenge? I don't know. There's maybe no maybe there. there's something he can do that I don't know of. No, there's nothing he can do that I don't know of right now. <laughs> All right, so I guess meteor burst is not terrible because it like doesn't like negate the effect. I'm surprised he's not playing Draco Slayer. Like, I haven't seen a single Draco Slayer. Once your opponent's position cannot activate their effects during the battle phase, so you can go ahead and run over that Minerva and she won't activate to mill, so I guess that was a fine... You know something I, I don't guess? get? What? I could be proven wrong in the future, and I don't, want, I don't want people to, like, crucify me about this, but in the OCG, they only play one Dragon Pulse Magician, but the DCG, everybody's playing two and two of Dragon Pin, Dragon Pulse, or three and three. Ooh, no, my sh I mean, this no. Shift of the Yokai is a good card. You, you, um, meteor? No. Meteor burst. Monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. So no trick clown, no Minerva. So. Oh. <laughs> meteor burst has an R effect? Yeah, yeah, at the end. I didn't know that. I played this deck for a whole week. <laughs> which, which was very, not very educational, obviously. Okay. That mischief, though. All right, then Wait, does possession count grave? Yeah. 
just cards in your possession in general, not card because if it was if it oh, wasn't card shuff- engraved, it'd be- I guess Venom's gonna call him out and say that this is like violation of rules. Oh, what's that thing called? Game state yeah, something air- something. Yeah, irreparable game state. Not really. I mean. Well, he did shuffle, and he changed yeah, the order of his deck. Yeah, if he shuffled, so he changed the order of his yeah, deck. Yeah, but this is, is an event, so it's, like, pointless. I mean, it's really up to you, man. I mean, Venom, if you're really that desperate for the W, you, you can call them and wait, like, you know, 15 There's fucking, no admins on. There's, there's no admins on. Never mind. Never no, mind. there's three. Okay, so in the last 10 seconds, well, not, I'd say 10 minutes, there's three came on. All right. So. I had an admin mess up a ruling today. It was so annoying. Like, okay, so Seraph Knighty, apparently... He was like, oh, you can activate Seraph Knighty if it's not on the field. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, like, I, like, appealed that. That was, like, one of the first times I appealed. Because I, like, Wavering Eyes earlier in the turn. I was playing Ignites, and I Wavering Eyes, destroying everything, banish the Seraph Knighty. And then he's like, summon Trick Clown? Summon Trick Clown? I was like, what? Ah, <sighs> you go. It was a different trap. It was it was Mischief with Milk, uh, the Young Kai, not Gnomes. <laughs> oh, put that back on deck. Like, look at this. Wait, what? What is going on? Why is he milling still? It's it's he, a call. He, they're trying to reorder the deck and put the game state back into how it was before with the uh, milling of Allure, Mathematician, okay, and uh, Yokai. Oh my God, he is. He really wants him to draw Yokai. I, I guess. <laughs> he wants him to Yokai watch. I have never uh, seen the show, played the games, or anything. <laughs> no, I just wanted to make that joke. Is my cat been in this room the whole time? An attack for 5,000. Apparently, my cat has slept through all this noise. I don't know how. A cat? <laughs> okay. Okay. He's desperate for the mischief of the yokai. Yeah, he really wants him to have that. I guess it's better than drawing into, I don't know, like, Instafusion or something. <laughs> Thank you, fuck you. <laughs> That's a great line. That is, that is by far, like, one of the best lines I think I've ever seen. Oh, uh, that's too funny. That, that, we need to quote that, just like... I don't know how we'd quote it, but just like, every time. Alright. It's just, when somebody says that, it's just so good. Yeah. Just gets so mad. <laughs> I still think Venom I mean, might win. This is assuming that his opponent does not have uh what's it called? Um if he has goblin if his opponent has Goblinberg, Lumina It's a whole list of, there's a whole list of cards that if he had it would just be over. Yeah, I mean not I, really Lumina, but like I think Light can easily come back. Like that was nothing. <laughs> I mean he's at twenty five. Wow, Wait, he's I'm, overplaying? Wow, you're actually overlaying. You're just going to allow him to draw. He's been making Red Eye Flare a lot. It's really weird. So, uh, Light, you can activate four things. <laughs> you activate any more than four and you're done. But I don't know. I mean, if I was going to go for a rank 5 Xyz, which I wouldn't because, of course, Jiang Sheng, which is how you pronounce it, I think, is it negates lights, and if he summons Illumina... I just remembered he could probably negate that, so I don't know why he went for that. Because like, there's no way, you know, four ne- activations is a is a lot. I doesn't activate. actually no, it's nothing because he has chaos sorcerer. Yeah, I say that doesn't activate. Well, did he mill any darks? I don't know. <laughs> That's the real oh okay. creep in. <laughs> we can't check the graveyard. Apparently, that's cheating. All right. Well, I is. could see how that would be a conflict of interest if like everybody could check the graveyard. He just needs so much cards to, like, be able to Pendulum Summon. That sucks. Drop in the Maxi. Drop in the Maxi Guess now. that's how he's going to Pendulum Summon again. Yep, he's just going to build up resources, I guess. I mean, I don't think... I don't mm. think that he can, like, OTK. No, you have 2,000 life points. <laughs> no, you're at 2,000. Your is- life points are fine. You what is activate, going on? You activate Castor to the Banish, then Flay will burn you for 500. Okay, so his choices right now, 
He can summon a Lumina, I guess, and he can go for a Raiden. I'm not sure if he has Raiden in a grave. And then I can guess he can go for the big guy. That's that's not enough, unless he has BLS. I wouldn't be surprised I mean, if he does. <laughs> and we you go from Nerf, hope to draw, and just out advantage him, but like he's still going to draw off the Maxi, and this deck can do a lot of things if it gets to even just like three draws. Yeah. I think you want to do is let him draw a whole bunch and then leave your field with... Any card, any card he, he basically draws is live, because this deck is mostly monsters. And, of course, he has one in eight pendulum scales, so he can pendulum summon anything. So if we haven't seen Hamil BLS, we should assume that he has it. I mean, no. Not really. <laughs> I mean, when he has, like, 23 cards left, including number generator, I think he probably has it. I mean, there's, like, I would say around a one-third chance. There goes that okay, time. he... He did that. I, I don't know why he's playing that in there. There's not enough darks. No. I mean, unless he's playing, like, Plague and Mali, but, like, if he was playing those, we would have seen them by now. Uh-huh. Like, what are your darks? Like, the only darks I've seen so far is Curry Band and Chaos Sorcerer. I mean, but Curry Band's good, but it's not good enough to warrant a whole Chaos Engine around. Okay. okay. Is he gonna go for Jaiga? Okay, he's going for Crawl. Oh, I did not know he played that. One draw? Oh, there'll be a less. I guess he did mill it. Oh, he milled it at the beginning of the duel. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, off charge. <laughs> okay, so he's going to go for that. He can't go for what's it called? I forget what it's called. I don't know why he's not playing Gem Knight Fusion. That's better than the Chaos Engine. Way better. Castell. I mean, yeah, that's his best play. <laughs> but, like, even then, it's, like, crap, because then he draws three. He draws to three, and then, like, he can pendulum summon, like, I think he has only Skullcrow Bat in his extra deck. I could be wrong. I oh, he's gonna flip it. Wait, you're gonna flip it? I guess. He only overlaid for one, so, like... Hey, that wouldn't be smart to flip it. I mean, yeah, maybe not, but, like, I don't know what he has. He's playing Chaos. He could be playing anything. Okay. Okay, so right now, I guess the best thing he could do is go for Hat Tricker, but then, like, he's not going to be able to go off. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> he's milled, like, all of his Chaos monsters besides Sorcerer. Ooh, that back row is definitely Mischief of the Yokai or Mischief of the Gnomes. Yep, yep. That's got to hurt. That has gotta hurt. No, I think that because there's be nothing good. he can't MST it. It's not like MST is gonna affect it at all. Get a hat tricker. Why? Why is he getting the hat tricker? That. Why not just get it when you need it? You're um, not even milling right now, so it's it's worthless. I have no idea. I guess just the deck then. Yep. Okay. Yeah. He definitely he had mischief. But if he's playing M7, and he has, like, Odd Eye stuff, like, he can still go for, like, level 6s, because he'd probably be playing that because, um, Noble Dragon. Not Noble Dragon, Peasant Dragon. Did that change? The name? Yeah. Probably. I'm yeah, I don't think they I, mean, I still call peasant. Insight Magician Insight Magician, even though it's not... <laughs> that is like it, it's very eye. strange how it became Wisdom Eye, because that's pretty much the same thing. And he's dropping the best card in the deck. Yep. I'm gonna check. Ooh, pricey. <laughs> it's like, hey, you want that structure deck? Well, of course you're going to need to do these odd eyes fusions and all of that, so... They can easily just take, what, three structure decks, splash them together, but then... I mean, no, not, not even really. This deck is like, it costs so much if you want to play it for real. Seems like every deck costs so much. But he's actually playing, I think, a, I think a budget. I'm not sure... If it's a budget variant, but it looks like a... Okay, it's now called Oaf Dragon. Oh, okay. You're going to use your effect, bounce the cast down, run over the Chaos Sorcerer? Yep. This is so good. Vortex is, like, so good right now. Ooh, that, Ooh. that's good. All right, well, 
That's more negate buttons for Vortex. And based on this, he's probably going to search an insight, and he probably has an Arm Magician in hand. And then he's going to go off, really. Because it doesn't matter, because Mischief the Gnomes doesn't affect the extra deck. Yep, so your Mischief didn't really do much. 500. So. You didn't 500. Yep. You wanna, should I mess it? I'll message him. All right. <laughs> Before I forget... You lose 500 off wavering. Yep. Alright, I told him now. Okay. Yep. So I was right, he's gonna grab an insight. Yep. And he has oath. Wow. Wow. So There's a lot he can do. Uh huh, a lot he can do. So you're gonna, what, you're gonna go ahead and destroy It's definitely him? looking back up for him right now. Because yeah. he only has 1500, so as long as that back row isn't anything. Yeah, as long as it's He's not a, one. As long as it's not a storing mirror for us, he'll be okay. I don't even get storing mirror force because I play Ignite and when people activate it against me, I'm just like, Okay, thanks thanks for all the searches. <laughs> and like with Cosmo it's just it's okay ish, but it's like not that good and like against Pepe they're gonna pop it before you actually do anything. Okay, so he's 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 avoiding that risk all entirely. Yep. Okay. So return, pitch, pop. And then proceed the game. Hopefully. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. This should be game. I'm surprised he made it back. It was only because that maxi. Yep. Okay, well. Is I'm, he surprised gonna do that he, I'm surprised that he didn't use a Vortex effect to put the Castell back. And I guess he'd rather have it in the graveyard because, I don't know, maybe they only run one Castell. I don't know how many Castells he's running. Okay. Yep. Oh, he is playing two Dragon Balls. He's like everyone else. Wow. I don't, I don't know, know why people are playing them. I don't know. All the OCG decks only run one. Okay, it was only Mischief the Yokai. Okay. Pendulum or nah? Okay, Pendulum. Is he going to chain it? Is it monsters on the field? Each face up monster. It doesn't matter. Vortex. Right. Why is he only Pendulum so many two? I have no idea. He better have something good. Okay. All right. It didn't matter. Yep. I didn't, or second. Um, but he was preparing to side for going second. So he probably has some kind of like MS, no, not MST. I'd say he probably is siding in dark holes. Hmm. That would be terrible. <laughs> Alright, so game three is going to take it all. Draco Slayer, Flush Fire. Oh, he's actually going first. What? What? Okay. Apparently, I can't tell, but he was deciding to go first then, which means he's probably gonna activate anti-spell fragrance if he gets it. Yep. Yep. If he gets it, which would make sense because he sides out the mischief of the gnomes for the. Which I don't know why you're playing mischief of the gnomes against that deck because it's like he's only gonna pendulum summon for the extra deck. Same with Pepe. Yokai is legit, though. I played yeah. Yokai for a while. Yokai is fine, but Gnomes? Like, I don't know what that. <laughs> yeah, like, Gnomes was surprising because I didn't expect it to be like an anti Burning Abyss measure, but it ended up becoming that. Yeah, yeah. It's all about the Dante. It's not Burning not Abyss. Did he have Lila? Yeah. yeah okay. Lila. I, don't, I don't know why. I guess he's hoping to pop everything. I guess. Yeah. I guess he's just going to hold on to it this turn and then. Next turn, summon it and pop one of the scales. If he doesn't. But, like, what kind of play is that? That's, like, <laughs> so meh. Sounds desperate, especially if he has a pendulum call that you can't even destroy his scale, so. Yeah, but I find with this deck I never draw a pendulum call, so I'm assuming Venom is the same. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I think it might be a DN, like, error. I don't know. It probably isn't. It's probably just me over exaggerating. Uh, no, that's not a bad play. That's not bad. Okay. He's only using a one-card investment to mill four. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. I'm <laughs> not sure how I feel about using that right now, unless he's going to Minerva mill, which he probably is. Okay, so summon um, Overlay Ride and Overlay Jamma Juggler. Um, send Jamma Juggler. 
maybe he's not going to do that after all because he wouldn't want to be a max seed. They like said, are you going to take the max seed challenge? You're just going to leave it alone. The trust is yours. Yeah, but he can make two Minervas, but like the question is, why would he? You see, he can't game in this turn because it's the first turn. Yep. yep. Okay. Oh, he's actually going to go into it. He's, he's going in. That. He's going in. He must have. He must, absolutely must have anti-spell fragrance. Then you're just increasing your odds of your... Okay, I was right. He, he cited in mind control. That might be something he cited in. Adding what? Wait, why was he looking at deck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why'd you look at deck? I, oh, okay. I thought you couldn't do that to turn it. But you shouldn't. You shouldn't look at deck before you do that because that's like straight up cheating. But I don't think it matters. <laughs> okay, add hat tricker. Make him draw a ton. Sure, get pendulum exactly. something for five. Lose the game. I see how this is going. Right in. You can only activate right in once per turn. No, Wait, what is he phase. doing? End phase spell. No, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's during the end phase then. Yeah, end phase <laughs> Okay. I was like, whoa, whoa, you're cheating, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Some serious cheating. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're seeing the Shadow fusion of this archetype now. <laughs> yes, he can do that. My people don't think people can do that, but they actually can, so. Yeah. It's really uh, weird. Otter's Rebellion is a pendulum monster, so that counts. <laughs> It's really strange, though. It looks nice. I like the card. I want to see a... Is there a Synchro Pendulum monster? Not yet, I don't think. I think it's like it look cool, like white at the top and green at the bottom. Okay, Dragon Pit. Okay, Oaf Dragon. Yep. Those are your preferable scales, usually. So you're just going to proceed to destroy this man? <laughs> Pendulum summon? Okay. 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 Add back something from the grave? Uh, actually, no, there's not really much you can add back with Oak Dragon. Yep. Is Oak Dragon only on summon? Yeah. Yeah, when this card's not on summon, you can target. Why is he going in? Oh my god. He is going ham. I mean, are you so going to go for the Burrito? Plays, so far, the plays are not too bad. What? I oh, mean, okay. He the can meteorite overlap. will handle the Minerva. He has the auto. He has the vortex with. Oh, I'm assuming okay. he's going for absolute, absolute, either that or um, big guy. Okay. Okay. So right now he has one vortex negate, which is actually really, really influential. So then he's going to attack, block the attack. And then is influential the right word for that? I'm not sure. Probably not. <laughs> so that's what I thought, yeah. Block the attack and then summon back his media. Yep, saw that coming. And then it just blatantly says most of your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. So no veneer of a mill, no honest, no none of that. No no uh, hat tricker. I mean, yeah, hat tricker, none of that. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah, but it's not destroyed. He blocks the attack. He can't OTK, though, so I guess that's something. You block that attack, attack. Wait, 400, attack, attack, no, that's not game. That shouldn't be game. I'm not really doing the math. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that is game. That's game? Yeah, because that's 5,000, that's 78, and then this... That, no, wait, because it's not direct. It's not direct. Attack, 800, that's 5,000. Yeah, because he negated attack. Yeah, he negated the attack. He only gets to really attack with Vortex and Oaf directly. It's close. Okay, I'm gonna predict. Territory. But I'm gonna predict the next play. Attack, so now it can't declare. Light Yagami is gonna draw into. He's going to draw into Instant Fusion. Like I said, can this monster attack? Didn't you block this card attack? When any monster could attack, tell to negate that attack, then special summon. Yeah, it's really good. So you block this monster's attack. So how how is Dragon Pulse attacking again? I don't know. I got confused. If Dr he Dragon probably just he probably just misinterpreted it. Yeah, but to say what? Did he get to attack twice? Because you went attack 
negate the attack, and then you, like, attack again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, though. Um, he's probably, you know what he's probably going to do? I bet you, since he does it so much, he's going to go for Red Eyes Darkness Metal. For literally no reason. Red Eyes Darkness Metal wouldn't be terrible. No, but he keeps on going dude, into it. Just, like, what are you going to do? Are you really going to take those two? You actually, no, I, he's at 800, so that actually would be okay-ish. Yeah, that would be okay-ish. It's up to him. He's take probably... Those, take those two. Yeah, Venom, Venom, he did it, like, three times already. He's going to yeah, go for he's it. been doing that a lot, so, you know, pretty much. You can only activate one card, even if it is Regeki. Like, this is actually yeah. a legit time that, for the full time we've been following him, that this actually makes sense as a play. Yep. Even if his one card he plays is Regeki, the absolute will, will... Oh, wow, you're not. The one time where it's actually a legitimate play, you're not going to do it. Yeah. But Vortex is so good. Yeah. I guess that's the reason why he left it, because Vortex is so good. Because I was thinking, like, you make it, and then if he Regekis you, you'd still get absolute to go ahead and summon another Vortex back, so... It would be terrible. Like I said, I would have I went for it. If any times, this would have been the time I would have went for it. Yeah, because Damage Juggler wouldn't activate. Yeah, um, like Damage yeah, Juggler, just, you would have got burned. Then, like all the plays that he's, he's going for something. Yeah, looks like he's going for something. What? Wow, he's just walling up. Like that, uh, oh, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I say, if you're just walling up, I mean, that's not going to save you. It still doesn't look like it'll save you. Okay. Is that game. Lightly, like Yami loses. Yep, definitely looks like yep. it. Doesn't look like he can come back from that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well that was the match. I think that was pretty good with like... I, I call it budget. Um, Odd Eyes Magician. The deck is still like $200. Nah, because if you... Vortex, if he runs two Vortex, that's 25, 25. That's, uh, um, that's 50. If you any eccentrics... Um, Alright, buying three structure decks, that's 30. Yeah, that's so that's, that's 25, 25, and then Odd Eyes Fusion 20. I think is like 20, no, so that, like that's 30. like that's um 80 plus 20, that's 100 dollars. That's not a lot. That's 30 plus 25, 25. So that's 80. Then Odd Eyes Fusion is 30 bucks each. That's 90. That's like uh, now. Yeah, it's like it's like 30 bucks. It went up in price just because it structured that. Oh, so that's well, like, maybe uh, it was that's only like 170 dollars, like not including one. any of your extra deck. Or interesting well, taxes, one hundred seventy dollars. Like I said, it's like it's around two hundred bucks. I mean, but for how well it performed, I think there's better decks. But it's none. It's not that bad if you have most of the cards. Yeah, it's not. It's not too, too terrible. Like if you picked Odd Eyes Fusion up beforehand, it's definitely not bad. Yep. Anyways, guys. Oh wait, and that's not even including Avion either. Should we? Well, we didn't see an Avion. Yeah, he didn't play it. Not, so should we say bye now? Or yeah, yeah, we're, we're done. We're done. Okay. See you guys. It's chat the chat. Sub me, I guess, if you want to. Yep, link in the description. <laughs> if you want to. Link, link to Yuval Mastery's channel in the description, too. What the Just hell? <laughs> it's, I'm it's, taking your job now. You're taking my job. Your channel away. is mine. <laughs> All right, See you guys. Thanks for watching.